welcome students in the organic chemistry lecture series today in this video we are going to study about the concept called as chilotropic reactions in previous videos we have seen the electrocyclic reactions cycloaddition reactions uh, especially we have seen the diel selder cycloaddition reaction in last video now this chilotropic reaction is also a type of cycloaddition reaction this is also a cycloaddition reaction but it is a special type of cycloaddition reaction okay now what is this actually in this chilotropic reaction there is a addition in which a conjugated molecule forms two single sigma bonds from the terminal atoms of that conjugated system to with single atom okay and the reaction goes via cyclic adductor when we see the example you will clearly understand what is this chilotropic reactions okay if you don't understand the definition no problem you will easily understand once we take the example okay now the famous example of this chilotropic reaction is this insertion of carbene into the double bond now what is carbene first of all that we have to see what is carbene uh say for example this diisomethane is exposed to the light then there is a formation of this carbene plus nitrogen the carbene means a carbon atom which is attached to two another atoms and which is having a two lone pair of electrons if this is the case then this species is called as carbene okay remember this is a special type of uh, species carbene carbon atom generally attached to four atoms but in this carbene carbon is attached to only two atoms and it has a lone pair of electron so such species is called as carbene now when this carbene is treated with a double bond containing system or we we called it as a conjugated system then that reaction is called as chilotropic reaction now we'll see one example uh consider this ch2 double bond ch2 this is ethene or ethylene we can say when we treat this ethene with carbene then there is a formation of this cyclopropane it is very simple actually see what what is happening this bond is shifting here these electrons are shifting here that means this cyclic tension state is formed here okay and there is a formation of this cyclopropane so what is happening actually the insertion of carbene is taking place into this double bond now we will uh, see or you will understand this definition what here is that molecule forms two single bonds now see this ethene it is forming two these single bonds now these two single bonds sigma bonds are formed here uh by the terminal atoms of conjugated system to a single atom so these are the terminal atoms and this is single atom so there is a formation of these two uh, sigma bonds so the example is insertion of carbene into the double bond and uh, the transition state is cyclic as usual we see in the pericyclic uh, reactions see this is a very uh, important type of cycloaddition reaction in pericyclic chemistry you don't have to uh, study detail you just you are just introduced to these chilotropic reactions in your syllabus okay aapko bahut zyada examples iske dekhne nahi hai ya bahut detail mein aapko jana nahi hai sirf what is chilotropic reactions you have to remember this thing along with some uh, examples few example two three examples we will see that so this is first example insertion of carbene into ethene so how carbene is formed that also you have to remember how carbene is formed when diisomethane is treated in presence of light there is a formation of carbene and that carbene is then inserted into the ethene when we expose it to the light via cyclic tension state there is a formation of cyclopropane i think uh, you have understood this we'll move further we'll see some more examples 
now one another important thing which you have to remember is that this reaction is a stereo specific now what is the meaning of this word stereo specific the meaning of stereo specific is that whatever stereochemistry is there in the starting material that stereochemistry is retained as it is into the product if such reaction is there then the reaction is called as stereo specific then we can say that the cis and trans isomer of alkene gives corresponding cis and trans isomers of cyclopropane derivatives now uh, from the examples you will understand this so first of all if we uh, this this is another way of uh, forming a carbene now this is also carbene see this carbon is attached to two chlorine atoms and it has two electrons so it is carbene how it degenerated when this chloroform is treated with potassium hydroxide there is a formation of this carbene plus kcl plus h2o so this ccl2 is generated here when chloroform is treated with koh now if we treat this ccl2 that is carbene with double bond system now suppose this is a cis2 butene okay cs3 ch ch cs3 now why it is cis because two methyl groups are on same side so it is cis2 butene okay and uh, we have already noted here that the reaction is stereo specific the reaction is stereo specific means what this cis geometry of this starting material should retain into the product now it is retained see this carbene the mechanism is same this bond is shifted here this bond is shifted here so simultaneous bond uh, breaking and bond formation takes place this is cyclic transition state and this is the product it is c isomer so c the geometry is written into the product so we called this reaction as a stereo specific now we'll see one more example now here we have uh, taken cis2 butene now we'll see trans2 butene uh, see this we have taken now trans2 butene so here also this geometry is written into the product mechanism is same this bond is shifting here these electrons are shifting here via cyclic transition state to form the product the product is trans isomer okay so again it is proved that the reaction is stereo specific so we can say that chelotrophic reaction is a stereo specific okay so i will summarize uh, chelotrophic reactions are stereo specific these are simply the insertion reaction and special type of cycloaddition reaction so in this video we will stop here in next video we will see another concept so up till thank you have a nice day